Hello and welcome to this presentation. This is an Apple Park Microsoft Project tutorial and it's here to support a blog post I've just written displaying the current plan and multiple baselines. Before we start that, a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Ben Howard. I've been a Microsoft Project MVP for the last 11 years. Uh, I do project consultancy. I also produce videos for an organization. They're commercially available at Pluralsight.com. So if you want to learn more about using Microsoft Project, then I would head over to there. OK, without any further ado, let's click on the blog post and just open up a browser to review that blog. There it is. All very nice. But now let's go into Microsoft Project and do exactly what we are doing in the blog. OK, let's have a look at taking multiple baselines and displaying multiple baselines for this particular plan, which is our software development plan. So to set a baseline, we click on the Project tab. We click on the Set Baseline button and we set a baseline. So this is going to be my first baseline. So I'm going to set the baseline for the entire project. So there's the baseline, there's the entire project to click OK. Nothing much happens, except in this case, I've already got the format baseline and this baseline selected to display, which is why it came up with the gray bars here. I'm just going to uncheck that for now. I'm going to go back into project and then I'm going to take the second baseline. So set baseline. You can see I've saved a baseline just now. Last saved on the 23rd of the 10th. And I'm going to now save into baseline one again for the entire project. We'll click OK. So now I could go back to the format tab and I could choose to display baseline one or baseline zero. They're of course both the same and so we see no difference. So, of course, what might happen is I might come into my project and we might uh, update a few things. So let's just say both of these tasks have been completed. We'll mark that on track. This one that was three days, maybe that's now gone to two days, defining the preliminary resources. But maybe I need a new task in here, not securing core resources, but maybe I need to interview some people. So let's go and create a new task interview candidates okay and that's also inserted that as a one day task we'll do two days and of course it's changed the successor task based upon the dependencies we can see that change of course because we can click on format baseline and have a look at the original baseline or have a look at the baseline we're currently tracking too so what I really want to do is modify these tasks onwards and take a new baseline for those tasks. You can see that this task interview candidates doesn't have a baseline because, of course, I've just created it. The other activities do have baselines. The baseline is there, but the tasks have moved on. So if interviewing candidates was a... Um, approved change then I might want to take or indefinitely I would want to take this activity and add it to my baseline so I'm going to highlight task 5 onwards uh, down to task 87 and then I'm just going to add those into baseline 0 let me see how we'll do that we just click on the project tab select set baseline set baseline and I'm going to update this first baseline baseline 0 but I'm going to do it for selected tasks, i.e. the tasks that I've highlighted in the, in the table here. We can click OK. We get a warning up saying you've already used that baseline. Are you sure you want to overwrite the data? Yes, I am, because I go and visually check selected tasks and which tasks I have selected. And so we can just select yes for that. And then that uh, baseline has been updated, which is good. If I have a look then at baseline one, you can see that's the old one and my current baseline is the new one. So that's good. Baseline zero is the one I'm always going to track to. How do I view all of these baselines on a single Gantt chart? Well, from here we click on to view and then more views. And we can go and select the multiple baselines Gantt chart. We could either edit this directly, apply and edit it, or of course we could copy it and then modify the copied one. Uh, I'm just going to apply this one. So what does this show me? Well, ultimately, if I mouse over a particular field, then it should pop up as a toaster and tell me what we're looking at. If that's not working for you, you can always click on the format, format bar styles 
dialog box and you can see here what we have we have baseline one in red we've got the original baseline in blue so the original one is in blue baseline one is in red and then if we had baseline two then that would be displayed as well so what i typically do is i modify these a little bit let me talk you through what we're doing i'm not going to I'm going to show you the bare bones of this, and of course you can modify this as you want. Baseline 2, I'm just going to cut that row out. I'm not concerned about any Baseline 2 stuff. Deliverables, deliverable finishes and durations, dependency starts, finishes and durations, I really don't care about. I also am not too concerned about displaying baselines for summary tasks. That kind of gets a bit confusing. Look at the confusion we've got here on this summary task. So I typically just am concerned in most instances about detail tasks. So anything for a summary task, we cut those out as well. Split tasks, you might leave those in or take them out. I'll leave them in for now. Okay, so I've got some details for baseline one and for my baseline. Actually, I want my normal task to be displayed as the top row and then... My baseline is going to be the middle row and baseline one is going to be the bottom row. So let's just have a look at that. Here's baseline one. And really this, this highlight, whether we're top, middle or bottom, is to do with the shape here. So baseline one, the shapes are quite difficult to pick out. That's the top one, that's the middle one, that's the bottom one. We're going to have baseline one at the bottom. The next baseline is going to be in the middle, which is that one. And so that's good for a normal task. Then I can display that as what? Well, I wanted the top shape, which is that one. The pattern is going to be solid and the color you could choose black. Black's fine, actually. Um, and we do that for a normal task and we draw it from the task start to the task finish. We might also just do this for a milestone. Of course, a milestone looks a bit like that or rather a bit like this diamond uh, we draw that we don't do anything there and we'll just draw that for a milestone again from task start to task finish task start and task finish are the same for a milestone so uh, we'll do it just for uh, task finish okay and that should work quite nicely yes it does we've got those uh, particular uh, baselines being drawn here we don't have anything though for the summary tasks or even the project summary tasks so let's just add those bar bar styles in so we could say we'll call this summary and for the summary if we're following the current convention we've got shapes like that at the beginning and end which is solid black and then we've got a bar at the top which again is solid black so that would work there we got summary project summary uh, which is task zero often that's drawn in a in a different color so let me just uh, set that up if we click on format bar styles uh, we can have a look here in fact we could just write that for summary should be in there really and then for the project summary uh, and I'll call that project summary because that's all this is is a pure name we can give it a name any name we want again we'll take the current convention but we'll use a different color uh, we'll use this uh, gray at the bottom here and that is going to be a line at the top it's a solid pattern and again we'll choose the same color and the shape at the end by convention is that one and we'll use that color there so now our project summary uh, is drawn as a gray a gray bar our normal summary tasks are just normal black and then our detailed tasks have those three different bars um, on them representing the current schedule uh, baseline zero and baseline one enjoy the blog post enjoy this video